Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks institute of GIS and remote sensing. Hope all are you well. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily predict the future land use land cover. So for today's session, I will try to explain about that, how we can easily predict a future crop land. So here you can see about that, we can easily get this type of result. I already performed this analysis. And here we can get this type of things and we try to predict the future crop plan for this state so here you can see here we can find out that uh, prediction crop land map for year of 2033 and here you can get about that this type of red color identify about that corn then we can get the green color identify about that swabins then this type of uh, red color yellow color identify about the sunflower and this type of pink color identify about the spring wheat and other uh, white color identify about that non crop land area. So this is our prediction and this prediction is mainly based on different types of predictive factor. Okay, so when I create this type of work, first of all, I need to create this type of predictor factor. And further, this type of predictor factor, I include and then further I apply the random forest algorithm and then create this type of prediction map. So now I will try to explain about that how it will be work. So here you can see first of all you have to import all of predictor in your you just try to add. So here you can see all of land use land cover map. So basically in this time we try to find out the change detection from 1997 to 2023 and further we try to um, make the prediction map for 2033 so here you can see about that all of land use land cover map we simply import and then this type of things we try to as a factor so 1987 then up to you can see all of land use land cover data we are just input in our hair and further we also try to add the more uh, other factor such as we try to include about that uh, dem data so for the dem data we are using at the srtm from the dem we try to also calculate about the aspect and hill shed then uh, slope as well as we try to uh, import as this type of uh, architecture such as Euclidean distance from airport, then Euclidean distance from lake, Euclidean distance from railway road, Euclidean distance from road, as well as we also try to uh, make some factor such as um, it can be precipitation or rainfall. So this type of factor we also try to include in our project. So then we try to make this type of analysis. So here you can see we already add write this type of code mainly here we just find out we try to uh, observe the change detection and we also try to find out this type of transition suppose corn to corn corn to soybean corn to sunflower corn to spring wheat and corn to others in this others it including the all of other land use land cover classes it's, it can be build up it can be water body or it can be other types of land use land cover features including okay also you can see we try to find out the other transition suppose swabins to corn or swabin to swan swabin swabins to sunflower swabins to spring wheat swabin to others okay so also you can see about that all of transition for each classes and then further we try to use at this type of sample uh, training okay so these are the total sample size this sample size we used for train our model and we also try to add uh, this type of uh, sample for testing our accuracy okay and further we try to find out about that confusion matrix table for our user prediction map here we find out that 66 percent accuracy level but this accuracy we can also add, uh, more uh, increasing we try to increasing further we also try to add the more other factor such as ndvi or evi or any other types of predictive factor we can also add and further this type of accuracy it can be also increased as well as we also get about the kappa accuracy 55 we also get about that and here you can see about that all of land use land cover change um, area transition area we can easily get it from this chart so basically this is the transition we can easily get it from here and we can get all of land use land cover uh, area so as you can see about that uh, 2000 2005 2010 2015 2020 
and we also predict the 2025 and also 2030 okay so all of here we can easily get all of uh, classes how much area it will be increasing or decreasing or what the situation for that okay so this is the result we can easily get it from here for our uh, statistical part and this is our map about that we can easily get it uh, for the what the scenario of the future predict of all uh, crop plants for this region we can easily get it from here so here again so you can get this type of map and basically in this time we are applying here the machine learning model so basically this machine learning model we are just use here for um random forest algorithm so here you can see about that we try to add here the random forest and in this random forest we try to uh, make the three thousand number of sample we collect from this imagery and in this uh, factor we try to add all of uh, predictor factor okay all of predictor factors also here you can see about that uh, we add here the elevation slope then distance to river distance to airport and distance to um temperature and that's distance to road and temperature rainfall hill shed aspect all of those things we try to add in here and further based on the uh, machine learning regression model we try to predict about that uh, 2030 okay and then we try to add this type of things and then we can easily get export all of result from here you can see just you can simply export this uh teeth imagery further you can easily use it for your um for your art map software to create the proper map so basically this is one kind of online training program if you are interested to learn the more details about this mastering land use land cover prediction map using machine learning on google Earth engine so basically this training program is running and if you want to learn it so basically it's a private training program uh, one versus one is now opening this is the total seven days online training program we take the one class in a week and class duration mainly two hours and one hours for the problem solving and it's a private training program so that's why you can easily start for any time and uh, this is the online training program so basically in this online training program when you enroll you can get all of those things basically we try to including all of land use land cover mapping how we can easily use the different types of machine learning in google earth engine as well as also we try to complete about that change detection analysis as well as all of uh, methods such as supervised and supervised mainly for supervised we try to add for random forest card or distance to uh displays all of super suffered vector machine so everything we try to add in here as well as we try to discuss about the change detection so here you can see about that full sports syllabus for our total seven days and um, if you want to uh, and finally we try to discuss about that future prediction so if you want to learn this online training program so you can simply contact in our whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email so i already added all of information in the video description simply check it and further if you are interested to learn the prediction of land use and cover and change detection so as soon as possible just knock in our whatsapp and email for the complete your registration and join our live training program so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe